What, what we know is that um, uh, a number of people have uh, uh, been killed and that the attack uh, has been, was led by the ISIS-linked uh, armed uh, group, uh, which is locally known as Al-Shabaab or Al-Sunnah Wa Jama, and in the attack, uh, which was um, uh, quite vicious, uh, uh, the group also disrupted communications. So it has been uh, a severe challenge to try and you know get the precise numbers of those affected um, because of uh, disruptions in communications. Uh, and um, as Human Rights Watch, we are really calling on the, the Mozambican authorities uh, to move in swiftly uh, to protect civilians as uh, many are fleeing the, the, the town. Well, absolutely. HRW is categorical about this. You want more to be done uh, to protect uh, civilians. Uh, what is it ultimately that you're wanting uh, Mozambican authorities uh, to do? Well, um, what we're saying is that um, the attacks uh, on civilians uh, should stop. The authorities should uh, be in control of Palma, should restore peace and security. And that in the process, uh, even the Mozambican uh, security forces themselves should ensure full protection of the rights of the people. But at the moment, um, uh, the town is under siege and uh, uh, people are fleeing. Some were attacked and uh, people were being shot at uh, on the streets uh, in buildings, uh, including in, in uh, local hotels and uh, uh, local banks. So it's uh, uh, an indiscriminate attack uh, that is uh, targeting unarmed civilians. And this has to stop and the authorities must swiftly intervene. And we're also uh, calling on the uh, neighbors to Mozambique, uh, the Southern African Development Community, uh, to immediately step in and support. I mean, of course, this isn't the first uh, attack. Do you know, fighting between the group and the government forces have left more than uh, 1,500 civilians dead. An estimated uh, 600,000 uh, people have been displaced. You just made reference to uh, people being, you know, fleeing their homes. I mean, is there the infrastructure in place uh, to, to look after these people, to deal with them when they come in the hundreds of thousands having fled uh, violence in their hometown? Uh, there is uh, not the in infrastructure and uh, humanitarian groups, they are really overwhelmed. Uh, and, and in fact, this is a, a first telling and escalating crisis that he has received uh, a little attention globally and regionally. And this is why we're saying that it is time now for uh, the Southern African Development Community to treat this as a priority and also for the Mozambican authorities uh, to uh, tell the world what is happening and what kind of help is needed uh, to assist, you know, the hundreds of thousands who have been displaced, uh, whose rights have been violated, and also to stop the horrific violence, including beheadings, that we have been recording uh, since the crisis began. And it looks like if it is not addressed immediately, it will uh, spread and engulf the country and uh, the entire Southern Africa region.